vegetable lasagna. And I'm using yellow squash and zucchini. I'm cutting my vegetables on a slight bias here. Add some olive oil and some salt and pepper. Give it a little mix. My grill is nice and hot. I'm not gonna leave them on the grill too long, just until they get that nice little char lines on there. Remember, the veggies are gonna continue to cook in the oven. You know, I, I'm a Southern woman and I eat a lot of Southern food. It's nice to change it up sometimes. And actually, growing up, my mom's favorite meal to make was lasagna. And that's how I learned how to make lasagna. And she learned how to make lasagna from her Uncle Tony. And I remember Uncle Tony, he was actually my favorite uncle before he passed away, and he could make a mean lasagna. While these grill, I'm gonna get started on my sauce. Olive oil, fresh garlic, tomato paste. I'm using crushed tomatoes, paste, and tomato sauce. I like a really chunky sauce. And because I'm not using meat and I'm using vegetables, I need something with little substance. Tomato sauce crushed tomatoes, and that gives you that really nice, fresh tomato -y flavor, and it's gonna give this sauce a really great texture. Looks like my veggies need to be flipped. You see, that's all I wanted to do was get those nice grilled lines. You always think lasagna is very heavy. Vegetable lasagna is very light, very flavorful, and adding these grill marks, you're gonna get some of that grill flavor. Let the other side grill. Continue with my sauce. Red wine, third cup. It makes it really, really robust. And don't worry about it, the alcohol will cook out and all of the flavors will remain. Tablespoon of Italian seasoning, a half a teaspoon of ground fennel. It just gives it this nice little like licorice flavor that I really like. Oh, those are beautiful. One bay leaf salt and pepper. And because tomato sauce is very acidic, I like to add sugar. I say about two teaspoons, some fresh parsley, give it a chop, add it to the pot. In 20 minutes, this is gonna be very, very delicious. But if you have the time, if you wanna cook it earlier in the day, you can, it's gonna be even more delicious, but it's fine in 20 minutes. All right, put that on, let me get started on my ricotta. So I like to use about a pound of ricotta. Mm-hmm. So transport myself to Italy. And oh, I can't wait till I add the mozzarella. <laughs> a nice helping of grated Parmesan, some mozzarella. I like using fresh mozzarella because it has a little less moisture, and once it melts, it's gonna have a really nice stretch. I need to add some salt, about a half a cup of milk. Like with anything that I cook, I like building layers of flavor, and lasagna is exactly that, layers of flavor. The thing about ricotta cheese is that it can really stretch and get really liquidy if you don't add an egg. Smell the char on the veggies, I smell that sauce going back there. I'm really excited about this lasagna. So my ricotta mixture is done. Let me get my sauce and start building this lasagna. I've got my nine by 13 casserole dish and I'm using oven ready lasagna. When I first started making lasagnas, you have to boil it and deal with that flimsy little pasta and everything's slipping and everything's going all over the place. You don't have to worry about that because these lasagna sheets are dry. The first thing I like to do is add a little sauce in the casserole dish because it helps prevent the pasta from sticking. Mix it around here. Now I'm gonna add my oven-ready lasagna sheets. Fit it to however you like. It's like, kind of like a, a puzzle. There you go. Another layer of sauce. Adding my veggies. Now this lovely ricotta mixture. Whew. So that looks good. I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing until I get to the very top or until I run out of noodles. I like to make a little design on the top because it's, you know, you see the top layer. So try to make it cute. That same fresh mozzarella I use in the ricotta mixture, it's gonna get nice golden and melty. Parmesan cheese. 
fresh basil. I like the flavor of sweet basil, especially with a good pasta sauce. With lasagna, it's always best to start off with it covered so the noodles and the sauce and everything melts and gets nice and cooked. Then I uncover it and let it bake for an additional 15 minutes so all the cheese will melt on top and it's gonna get nice and golden brown. It's time to uncover my lasagna. Mm. Yes, Whew. that smells delicious. Oh, baby. I immediately smell the sauce, I'm smelling the basil, I smell the fresh veggies. That needs about 15 more minutes. I just want the top to get nice, brown, and bubbly. My lasagna is done. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. This is gorgeous. It's nice and brown on top. The cheese has nicely melted. Oh, wow. Did y'all bring your appetite? Mm -hmm. Of course we did. Yeah. The oldest boy will get his first corner. Okay, this is a big oh, piece. Yeah. He's a fireman, you know, he yeah. deserves this. He's been saving lives. Yeah. Oh, oh, amazing. That's nice. Look at all those layers. Very oh. really good. The lasagna is amazing.